Hey, Gavux here. So, SDS came out with a patch, and patch notes tonight, kind of late in the morning. It is going to deploy today. By the time you've probably seen this video, it's probably already been deployed, but I want to go through the patch notes. It's got some good news. It's got some interesting stuff in it. Um, but, you know, first off, freeze glitch, you know, they got rid of it. We'll get to that in a second. I guess we can do that right now. Fix the bug that will cause players to freeze when a user would intentionally walk several battles and step off and throw to home. Love it. Absolutely freaking in love with it. So it took them less than a week to get it out of the game after the video. Um, so I'm going to give them a little bit of a round of applause. Sorry, we can't go We can't go too loud here right now because, you know, like I said, the kid's like three feet away from me. But this is pretty cool, right? Um, shout out to SDS. Thank you. Um, so let's go through the rest of the patch notes. Um and kind of give our opinion on them, right? The interesting thing is there are no hitting or gameplay balance changes in this update. It's strange because in previous years, we would have gotten quite a few of those uh, gameplay updates by now, but we haven't. So I don't I don't know what's going on. I think they maybe do like one big one or something. It is strange that they'd, they'd give this patch out. Maybe they just wanted to do like a bug patch here and the gameplay patch will maybe come, I don't know, next week. I, I, I really don't know, but... They'd be kind of cool if they communicated with us, you know, what they're kind of like working on. Because, you know, the inner workings of it, their company, maybe other people don't think it's interesting, but I really do. Like, you know, hey, what's going on? You know, what's what's the, the beef? How's the beef made? Wait, people don't like how the hot dog's made, do they? Anyways, patches. So, interesting. They're giving Legends active quirks. Now, they have definitely given Legends active quirks before. We just don't see them getting the normal active quirks, right? The active quirks that I'm talking about that they normally get is Outlier, right? Other than Outlier, we haven't seen Legends get any sort of quirks, right? Only Tops Now and Live Series players. Like, you know, I can I can show you some of them um, of the active quirks that we, we, we really get only on um, players. Like, so if you look at Soriano, you look at his stats, you go to quirks. All these things are descriptive quirks. They all describe him, okay? All right, they describe him. But when you go to Mike Trout, sure, he's got some descriptive quirks too, like hitting machine or whatnot. But when you look at these, it says home body. Performs better when playing at home. That means he gets a boost. Somebody on the subreddit tested it, said it's plus six contact. They couldn't really test um, uh, power that well. It's, it's very hard to do that. Um, I wish SDS would come out and say what these quirks actually did. Uh, night player helps. Uh, so it really depends. Like, you know, they say minor quirks, like night player and home body is like plus six. And then big one, like unfazed, excels when hitting with two strikes is like plus eight so mike trout even though it's his attributes 113 119 against righties but once you get those quirks going could easily get up into the 120s and that's one of the reasons why people love live series cards so much where they hit so much better than you expect them to because they have those quirks that help them get the good outcomes anyways back to the patch so online head-to-head -head, fixed a crash that could occur if a player had a card open on the screen when the other player quits Love it, right? I'm a big fan of patching bugs out of the game, especially like crashes um, and exploits, stuff like this. Fix an issue where home run replayers would not play if their opponent is pressing X. I actually don't like that. <laughs> I really wish home run replays would go out of the game. You guys know in the video there was a there was a glitch with the home run replays. They actually didn't mention the home run replay uh, glitch to my knowledge for the freeze. So I'm kind of worried about that. Um, but we'll see, I guess, if they got to it or not uh, tomorrow. Uh, if we start getting home run replayed, I think the issue and and you know some of the comments said you also got to unplug your. Uh, controller. So if there's any SDS employees listening now, you unplug your controller during the home run replay. Maybe they couldn't, they didn't figure that out because I didn't ex explicitly say that because I didn't know that at the time. But the comments kind of said that, so I've passed that along. Um, but I, I, I hope they get that message and hope they see it. But uh, anyways, fix the rare crash that would occur when exiting showdown from the program menu. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, 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 good of crashes. Fixed an issue that could trap players in a pause menu follow, following a play pitcher injury. Yikes. Okay. That's, that's tough. Another freeze off. Change the friendly quit except button from square to X. So it's not the same as the, you know, except people would, people would run the clock down to one second and then offer up a friendly quit. And then people like, oh, they ran out of time. I'll, I'll end their game for them. And then it would be like a, a trap of doing that. So now they change it from square, which is four for the opponent's game, to X uh, to accept the friendly quit. Fixed an issue where a runner would get a free base when stealing if the batter was hit with a pitch during a late bunt attempt. 
this is a late bunt attempt to get the uh, free hit pitches. I've seen this glitch. I've seen it triggered against me. I've seen people do it a lot. I feel like it's kind of hard to do, but some people said they've been able to master it. Uh, but I've only seen it once myself, so I, I, was no, I had no idea how to replicate it. And we talked about that one. Gameplay balance. We've talked a lot about what gameplay balances need to happen, and I really hope they've heard our feedback on that. Um, we've we've had quite a bit. Stadium split appearances will not populate on the Jumbotron. An American Family issue with the ball could slip through the wall in Angel Stadium. Collision issue around left field foul pole. American Family that would sometimes cause a foul ball being warped back into the stadium. So uh, American Family, the new sponsor, not loving all their glitches right there at uh, should be Miller Park. Road to the show. Various fixes and adjustments to make the cameras. Stats accrued by simming will no longer count until program progression. That's a big rip. They killed the road to the show glitch. I hate it. That was one of the most fun things about this game. Uh, by simming and, and getting your program progression done. But I've got my caps done. So I'm kind of whatever, right? I, I could have gotten more stubs by doing the other caps, but I didn't. Um, so that is over now. Um, I really hope they remove caps next year from the game. Notable stats on now appear in Jumbotrons. Players not eligible for rewards if they're on the injured list at the end of the season. Franchise fixed an issue that caused a fault in. Like, who plays franchise? Franchise is useless in this game. They've ignored franchise more than I've ignored that weird thing growing out of my face. It's a nose. UI. The post-game mission list is now scrollable showing all missions that have progressed and will no longer show missions for programs already completed. Okay. Nice. Yeah, that's that's good. Bottom ticker will no longer appear inside any quick menus. Like, I, I can't really... There's no analysis that goes along with any of this stuff. Right? Various miscellaneous crash fixes. Thank you. Play-by-play -play commentary. Updated. So, generic stuff, but we'll see what's in it. Right? We'll, we'll of course, see it. Um, and then they go about creator content. They say, good job, talented creators, but there's disrespectful creations. And if you guys see any, like, you know, racist, anything like that, definitely report them using the in-game tools. I can show you how to do it. Um, it's awful to see that kind of stuff online. Um, and let's see. So you go to home. Say so you want to report somebody. I don't want to, like, go too deep into it. But you go to uh, game history. You scroll down to whoever it was, um, this person, and you hit the report button. I'm not going to hit the report button, uh, but I think there are uh, options in the report button. I don't want to accidentally misclick and, and you know mess with stuff that shouldn't be messed with and cause a false report. But anyways, that's um, the video on the patch. Um, hooray that they got the, uh, the um, freeze done within a week. So, shout out to that. Anyways, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Call to action. I'll see you tomorrow.